At, were you locked up when when uh, it was the East Coast versus the West Coast? No, nah, I was out. Did, what did you think about that when that was going on? Well, I had a different mindset. Like when Biggie was talking about he coming to Cali, Cali, the niggas in California was saying to get killed, to get killed, to get killed. Well, you going back? I'm going back to, to Cali. Cali, and they was waiting on him saying, "Yeah, you coming back to get killed." If I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali. I'm going, going. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But I'd ask you something, because, and I'll go back to Cali for a minute. Where were you at? Were you locked up when, when uh, it was the East Coast versus the West Coast? No, nah, I was out. Did, what did you think about that when that was going on? Well, I had a different mindset. Like when Biggie was talking about he coming to Cali, Cali, the niggas in California was saying to get killed, to get killed, to get killed. If I got to choose the coast, I got to choose the east. I live out there, so don't go there. But that don't mean a nigga. So you going back, I'm going back to Cali. Cali. And they was waiting on him saying, yeah, you coming back to get killed. That was the. That was the, the slogan. That was the slogan with that. So when you talking about back then, at that time, uh, I'm not gang banging, but I'm in the shit in the streets where we doing hustling and stuff like this. And uh, 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 that camaraderie ship was still going on and it had turned into a uh, 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 issue of where it wasn't local. It don't went on a national level where we from the west side, y'all from the east coast, and it was going down like that. Although I knew both parties involved, but at that time, did it put did it bring California together more during that time? Well, what happened is California can come together and shut everything down when it comes down to it. California is the type of state where we stand up, we fight for us. We are in a survival mode, whether it be in prison or on the streets. We've always been survivors. I never seen a homeless person commit suicide yet. Only the rich. Wow. So when I seen you. When I seen you uh, um, last time, I don't know if I asked you this, but I'm going to ask you now, the uh, riots, were you out when the riots was going on, when the Rodney King thing happened and all that? Well, I had been locked up prior to that behind some other shit behind the eight Trey gangsters because that's who football and them. But what happened with me on that when the riots happened, I was in custody, but they came and locked me up the day of the riots and called me in and then put me in the hole behind the riots. Then when I got out right after that, to show you how the system is, they had one and took all the guns from the surplus where they said they, and by the way, they're still investigating the 40 something murders that occurred during the riots that were civil rights violations wow. that haven't been solved today. So uh, when I got out, uh, they had a statement to where they were saying the A-Trey gangsters had surrounded the Western Surplus, which is a gun store. And uh, they ended up finding some guns that were buried in the backyard, even though I wasn't there, couldn't have nothing to do with it. I got picked up in the raid and ended up going to jail on a violation behind something I didn't happen. So I came out right after uh, uh, the riots had occurred with uh, Reginald Denny and football and all them, the L.A. Fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you do you think that like like during that time, um, like I said, what, what that was that was before that was before Death Row and all that was early on. This was in nineteen about ninety two. Ninety right up around in there. 